I wrote this specific literature review by using three words prompt write literature review without providing any detail of my research topic by using a free AI tool. And this is the feature which most of the paid AI tools are not even providing for writing your literature review. The name of the tool is Notebook LM and this is by Google as Gemini AI is taking over all the open language chatboard platforms in the same way this specific AI tool which is under experimental stage can take over for sure many of the AI research tools which are paid at the moment when you sign up from the link which is available in the description box you will get this type of interface so what this tool is about your personalized AI research assistant upload your sources and you can see instant insights in the form of a multiple kind of documents then you can see the source not just the answer and the beautiful thing about about this AI tools that it keep all the writings in your control because you can write and can chat with the documents which you have provided to this tool so this tool will not grab or gather the information from internet sources but will write and stay within the documents within the research papers you provide how this tool works we will just check it by clicking try notebook LM and this is my previous project I will create a new here and I can upload up to 50 research papers or documents at one time so this is a very good number to start writing on a one concept about your literature review when you change the concept when you move to the other step then you can upload other 50 papers if your literature review is longer so what we have to do we just have to click on upload sources and you will come up with the list of the research paper you want to upload so how many sources I have I have five sources and, and this is the name of the document which notebook alum generated for me based on the information these research paper contains by clicking on a single research paper I can have the information about the overview of that specific research paper with the key terms involved and also can have a overview about the key topics and this is the summary of that specific research paper at this point I can start writing just by entering the random query what are the ionic liquids for example so I get a result in few seconds with references ionic liquids are the salts that exist in the liquid state at a relatively low temperature this is the source of information and it will take me to that specific paragraph from where this information have been copied so as seen above ionic liquids are salt consisting of cations such as amidazole and this is this and this is the proper definition and this document take this information from that specific part of that research paper this is the second source of information that have been included in that specific document and in the same way I can access the source of information just by clicking on the reference notebook loom also provide you some recommendations about the questions you can ask from from that specific document which are very much aligned to the topic you have provided for example detail three significant properties of ionic liquids and what are the discuss, discuss several applications of ionic liquids and many more after having a conversation with all of the research paper or if you want following an outline of your literature review chapter uh, you can even use this tool to write a literature review by, by just writing a single prompt that write literature review and you will be amazed by the results of this tool because the structure of the literature review were just like a funnel starting from a broader context to moving forward towards narrowing down it so what is the ionic liquid ionic liquid is a class of a source and then this, these are the definition and classifications and then these are the physiochemical properties of ionic liquids and these how it can be synthesized and their biocompatibility and biodegradation and all that so this is a precise uh, literature review which you can use in any of your research document and even you can expand it just by taking it as a draft of your literature review chapter Another very important feature which helps you to understand the core concept of your research topic and to understand the concepts which have been discussed in these 50 papers is to generate an audio conversation of whole data that have been uploaded in that tool. In an audio review, you will listen the core concepts of this research topic that have been explained in all these research papers in the form of an audio conversation and that is a very basic, very easy to understand and I am amazed by the results.
Welcome to our uh, deep dive into the world of ionic liquids. It looks like from what you've sent me, you've got a really interesting mix of sources here. Oh, yeah. Some deep dives into the, you know, the real fundamental science behind these things, but also some really exciting stuff about how they're actually being used out there. So I'm amazed that they are going to break down the complex concepts of science which have been published in these research papers and have been discussed not in a as simple way as this conversation is going to provide you and, and this will help you even to understand those core concepts into very easy language there that makes them so useful but i have to admit i'm still kind of wrapping my head around how a liquid can be made entirely of ions okay what are the key things that make a substance qualify as an ionic liquid well i mean at its core it's literally what the name suggests right it's a liquid that is made entirely of ions okay but the real you know magic, uh, I guess you could say lies. As you can see, this is this seems like a real conversation and nobody tell me uh, about the concept of ionic liquid and nobody help me to understand ionic liquid in as easy way as this conversation is going to. So you can explore it by yourself just by clicking the link which is available in the description and even you can uh, uh, develop the briefing of your document and you can even ask to develop the FAQ of that specific research topic and even you can use its add note feature to add any kind of manual notes you want to add by keeping in view that specific literature review chapter and you can um, even resynthesize your literature review just by expanding some area or by deleting some area of the information that have been written in that specific document so this note taking feature is also making your rewriting process easy and accessible so this is amazing tool you must give it a try and don't forget to watch my latest video in which i have talked about that don't use these ai tools for paraphrasing because they are creating ai plagiarism in your content and if you want to learn about their alternatives don't forget to watch my this video and also visit my AI and research playlist where you will find amazing AI tools that are helping you in your research journey.